The vice president has weighed in on the revelation that former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn performed more than half a million dollars worth of lobbying for Turkey before Election Day. Mm. Flynn registered his work as a foreign agent in paperwork filed with the Justice Department on Tuesday, disclosing work performed from August through November 2016. Here is Press Secretary Sean Spicer, followed by Vice President Mike Pence, reacting to that news that they just learned apparently yesterday. Was the president aware that Lieutenant General Michael Flynn was acting as a foreign agent when he appointed him to be the national security advisor? Uh, I don't believe that that was known. Um, I would refer you to uh, General Flynn and to the Department of Justice in terms of the filings that have been made. Had the president have known that, would he have appointed him? I, I don't know, John. That's a hypothetical that I'm not prepared to ask. Uh, let me say, hearing that story today was the first I heard of it. and. Um, I fully support the decision that President Trump made to ask for General Flynn's resignation. You're disappointed by the story? Uh, the first I heard of it, and uh, I think it is, a, it is an affirmation of uh, the President's decision to ask General Flynn to resign. Joe, uh, what's your take? I, I, for, for me, it seems ex deeply concerning that they had no clue about this since Flynn and Trump spent day and many flights and nights together traveling on the campaign trail. This seems impossible. Well, the fact that that man was a foreign agent of, of, of Turkey, uh, who has been hostile towards U.S. interests yeah. for a good part of the Syrian civil war, uh, and was getting paid at the same time he was delivering a speech trashing Hillary Clinton at the Republican National Saying Convention. Saying, lock her up. Yeah, that he was uh, an agent of a foreign country, of Turkey, uh, throughout the end phases of the campaign. And even when Donald Trump got elected, it's, um, it's shocking. Uh, I guess it shouldn't be shocking. Uh, this is the sort of thing that would not happen in past administrations, uh, but there are, there apparently, are, it's, everything goes ethically. Um, and by the way, I would like some clarification from the White House at some point. Did Donald Trump fire Michael Flynn or did right. Michael Flynn resign? Because when Michael said, Flynn resigned, yeah. Donald Trump acted angry and said a good man was hung. Right-wing right websites are still saying now that. Now he fired him. Right, yeah, yeah, right, right, right hmm. John Heilman, right wing websites are now going out and, yeah. and, and say, talking about, and right wing columnists are talking about how Michael Flynn was set up and, and he had no due process and he right. did nothing wrong. Well, did he resign or did Donald Trump fire him? And if Donald Trump fired him, if these right wing websites are right, then why is he such a weak president? And why did he fold to things that aren't true? Right. It's a very, it continues to be a very confusing situation, especially as you said, Joe, you know, Donald Trump and all of his public comments about this has basically acted as though um, Michael Flynn was persecuted, you know, a good man driven from office by the hounds in the mass media. Now you have uh, Mike Pence trying to put a kind of a, a nice gloss on that and saying, well, this vindicates the president's decision to fire him. You know, this guy was not only acting as a foreign agent, literally as a foreign agent, not metaphorically, while he was traveling with Donald Trump, while he was as close to, as, to with Donald Trump as anybody, he, he was the person who became the national security advisor. And somehow the president and others right now, at least the official explanation is they had no idea that he was acting as a foreign agent when he was appointed to be national security advisor. That is one of the most extraordinary, if it's true they did not know, one of the most extraordinary failures of vetting I've ever heard of. There's so many of. Um, untruths here, Joe, that it's really hard to know exactly what happened on any level with literally anything we've talked about since the show started today. Well, the press needs to follow up, and they need to keep asking the question, did they know? If they did know, that's as bad as if they didn't know, because if they didn't know, it was one of the most unprofessional, sloppy vetting uh, processes that I've ever heard of in Washington, getting paid $500,000 by Turkey, a hostile, uh, if, again, for the past four, five, six years, a hostile player 
uh, in it, as as it pertains to Syria, only only becoming uh, more helpful over the past year or two. I mean, ISIS used Turkey to get into Syria for the better part of the civil war, and and this guy is and this guy is getting paid and is a foreign agent of Turkey. It's it's so staggering. It's, I can't. It's even, staggering. I cannot even process Thank you. It. Hold I on to it for a second, Halpern. It's impossible to process there, it, this. It, they have made a joke of the entire transition process and this presidency has no credibility where we stand right now. I don't say that with hysteria. I don't say that with shrillness. I say that with a, a deep sense of concern Again, if for you, how we even cover this story. I, because I think there Mika, are people the best who believe way, Mika, Trump from think, start to finish. And I think he's the best not way to characterize truth. it, Miki, you're not shrill, you're just sad mad. I'm sad and, mad. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 so sad and know, mad. And know the week. Look closely the week. She's not crying. I know she's a woman and she actually she make it didn't smile, so maybe you're thinking she's crying, but no, she's just pissed Will you all off. Help me? Again, um, you're a Mark Alpin, you were about to say it's hard to process. Follow, yeah, finish I mean, your thought. I mean, they 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 got to do some soul searching over this because they're still vetting people for top jobs, and this is you a have guy to who, have a soul, Mark. This is a guy who was at the center of the foreign policy apparatus during the campaign and in the government, and who brought his son, his controversial son, with him. And and they've got to do some soul searching. They've got to put out the facts, they and they have to try to figure out how could such a thing have happened. Because I can think of a few examples from previous administrations of things in this direction, but literally not nothing like this I, that yeah. I've ever seen. And it's important to point out this is not something from his deep dark past. Yeah. This lobbying was happening from August till November, right in the heat of the presidential. He, I'm checking wrote, four he boxes. An, he wrote an op-ed yeah. on this issue. That appeared in the Washington Post on Election, election Day, day. Yeah, well, yeah. advocating for this position. And, you know, this is at a time when Donald Trump was going around railing against Hillary Clinton for practicing pay to play in the State Department. And while Michael Flynn was yelling about how Hillary Clinton should be locked up, I mean, the hypocrisy of it is staggering if they knew and if they didn't know. Uh, no, they didn't. It's Come on, just stop.